So we're going to start this video off with a challenge. What you're seeing here is a razor blade at 1000 times magnification. Now in this video, I'm going to be testing four different razor blades. I want you to guess just by looking at these razor blades at 1000 times magnification, which razor blade do you think I am going to suggest is the best? So here's razor blade number one. Take a good look. Here we've got razor blade number two. And this is razor blade number three. Final razor blade number four. Now I'm going to reveal the brand of each razor blade shortly. Not easy, is it? And that's why I put these razor blades through a proper test. But before we get started, here are the razor blades that I'll be testing. Let's just pop a check out the situation right now. I don't know what it is about this. So just by looking at those razors, which one do you think is going to be my top pick? As you're watching the rest of this video, keep that number in mind. Number one was the Astra Platinum, originally made in the Czech Republic, but has since been bought by Gillette and now manufactured in Russia. A very popular razor blade, this one stainless steel with a platinum coating. Number two on the list was the recently released King E Gillette, named after the company's founder. Also another stainless steel platinum coated blade, readily available in supermarkets, which is where I I picked mine up from. These blades are labeled as the pinnacle of over a century's worth of innovation. Now number three was super stainless half blades from Shark. These are manufactured in Egypt in my razor. They don't require snapping. They're wrapped in wax paper and cost me £16.95 for this box of 100. They're made by Lord Shave which was established in 1930. Now last but not least number four on this list is the platinum coated Merca blade. Highly regarded in the shaving world this one as I said another platinum coated blade these aren't cheap though this small box of 10 cost me 10 pound in a pharmacy these double-edged blades are made in the Czech Republic now I've been shaving using double-edged safety blades for well over a year now I've always been focused on helping you guys find the best products for shaving for me and maybe you that's head shaving and so it only makes sense that I try to find the best possible razor blade all of the blades tested come in plastic free packaging and are quite easily available for this test guys I'll be using Using my normal shaving routine the normal soap and my razor of choice is the twig razor from leaf if you're interested to learn more check out the first link in the description box also i've got some great news for the uk viewers we've linked up with agent shave and you can now use the code bold cafe on their site to get a discount site-wide that also means being able to purchase the leaf and the twig razor here in the uk guys let's really jump into this test now and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video stay tuned to see if your prediction matches my razor blade suggestion yeah I could shave with a butter knife here and it would and it would cut fine the real test guys is this area right here the hair's thick enough to give it a real test the skin is like soft here you know and it moves around a lot so if it's a dull blade it's gonna not it's gonna be tough to get through the hair and it's gonna clog up on the skin it's gonna be uncomfortable I'm gonna know straight away soap we're in the sink which is what I've been doing regularly this is how I do it. Astra, the old classic Astra. Just so good, these blades, honestly. If you just want, you don't want to waste your time and you just want to know what I recommend. This, I, can't, I really recommend the Astra Platinums. I mean, we'll see if there's something better. I mean, I can feel it just slice through that hair. Next up, let's see how the Gillette fares because I've got high expectations of this Gillette. Bloody pricey as well. Pretty good. It's 
pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Very comparable. Oh, it feels weird actually. Is it better? Don't see that. Wow. Okay. Can't lie, that's a good blade. Pricey, but from that first test, that's good. Right, let's get the uh, Mirka. I really hope this is good as well for the bloody price of these. Wow. Let's keep it fair. Moisten it up a bit. No. Instantly. Instantly, I can tell you that's not as good. I can feel it tug. I can just feel it tug. It just isn't, it just isn't sharp. It just isn't sharp at all. And that is like getting there, that's pet that hurts. No, but see, I don't even want to carry on. It's like I'm struggling to get through that hair. So I'm sorry, but the the mir Mirka. No, just wasn't as just wasn't as good. Reheat the noggin. But when reheating said noggin, gotta make sure you don't get cream in your eye. I mean, that is slick, mate. There's literally nothing there now. Absolute slick. Yeah, super stainless, made in Egypt. We've got the shark. Is it better than the Merca? I bloody hope so. Still effort. It's still effort, but it is better than the Merca. I think. Like, I don't even want to go isn't comfortable but it's better than the Merkur. It is better. Who's taking the top spot? Right, King Gillette. Are you the king of blades? I will be the judge. Hey, it just cuts so much better. Effortless. Absolute effortless. Again here on the upstrokes. Bloody hell. Is this better than the Astra? Okay, I know this is good because I don't want to stop using it. Okay, I'll tell you the real test. The real test is the back. Can't lie to you guys. Feel like the Gillette takes it there. It's close. It's bloody close. The Gillette just edges out, it really does. It edges out, get it? Here we go. I mean, shout out to the, the twig razor, by the way. I mean, seriously. I think obviously the practice helps, but no cuts, doesn't sting, like literally couldn't, you cannot shape any closer than that, it isn't possible. Mate, absolute fresh as a bloody daisy. Right, what are we saying here? What you're saying that if we're just going on the blade and how sharp it is, top spot, it's I had it, Gillette that did it, it edged out. The Gillette edged out there. I was actually enjoying using it because it just cuts so well. Then it's the Astra, then it was the Shark, and that Merca, not good. Best all rounder, bang for your buck. Still for me, the top spot, the Astra Platinum. If you just want, right, I want something that's gonna give me a great shave, not gonna break the bank, not gonna be wasteful, get the Astra Platinums, I highly recommend them. If you want the creme de la creme of sharpness, you're not worried about how much money it's gonna cost you, go for those Gillette blades. There you go, guys. That is my razor review. So in my test there, the top spot going to the Gillette, I found that to be the sharpest, and that was number two in our up close 1,000 times zoom shots. Next up, and what I kind of rate as the best all-rounder was the Astra Platinum 
That was number one in our thousand times zoom up close shots. Number three on the list was the shark. That was number four on the list. You can take a good look at how that one looks up close here. And the final, the number four spot, if you like, the last one, the one that to be honest, I really don't rate was the Merca. And at the start of the video at 1000 times zoom, that was number three on the list. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, found it interesting, and hopefully it helped you pick the best razor blade for yourself. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Some of the products that you've seen in this video will be linked in the description box. I, of course, will see you in that next video. Goodbye.